Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be installing Virtual DJ 7 LE, um, the version that comes with the DJ C4 MIDI controller by Stanton. Um, so I went ahead and took a quick picture of what comes inside the box. Um, so as you can see, it comes with the actual controller, a USB cable, there's a printout of the quick start guide, and then there's the actual software CD. So four items are included in the packaging. Um, I went ahead and inserted the CD, and once you insert the CD, this is what you'll see. Now, I am, uh, I'm using a Mac. I'm using uh, Lion 10.68. Um, the, the CD includes the software for both a Mac and a PC. Um, as you can see, that uh, there's, a, there's a manual. There's a quick start guide, which I suggest that everybody take a look at. Um, again, one comes with the, the unit already printed out for you. There's also a folder for drivers and then one for software. Now, the driver folder is only needed if you're installing on a PC. Since today we're installing on a Mac, we're going to bypass that. So I'm going to click on software. Virtual DJ LE7 is what we want to install. And uh, we're going to do it for the Mac OS X. We just guide through the install. I'm sure we've done this before. You can read all of this stuff if you want to. I've done it already, and I know that it won't do me any harm by installing. So, um, this install it says that it's going to take a while. Sometimes it may say something like nine or twelve minutes, um, at least on my system. But it it realistically takes about two minutes. Uh, once it gets past the first, I say 40%, it just goes ahead and zips along. So um, I'm going to let this install, and I'll be back with you as soon as it's done. There we go. It's all done. And we hit close. Close out of all those other windows. And then I'm going to go right into my uh, applications and find where... Virtual DJ Ellie is right there at the bottom. And um, okay, now that we got the software installed, let's go ahead and connect the DJ C4 to uh, any available USB port that you have on your computer. And once you do that, you'll see that all the lights light up and then they go off. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we've got MIDI functionality. So what you can do is just take your cross, your, your line faders, move them up and down, your cross fader, and as long as you can see that it's actually responding to what you're doing on the screen, then you know that everything is set up successfully. Now that we've achieved that, let's go to the second part, which is setting up the audio aspect of it. Now, this is an all-in-one unit. So it's a built-in sound card. So what we want to be able to do is use this in its total capacity. So we want to be able to connect a pair of speakers, be it powered speakers or studio monitors, or even if we want to take our output and go into a, a amplifier to use passive speakers. But we want to be able to do that with this. And we also want to make sure that we can connect a pair of headphones to the unit and we can cue our mixes. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is go to config up top by default this is what you're gonna see so we're gonna change this to DJ C4 boom we're gonna go back up top to the outputs and we're gonna select headphones and we're gonna come back down to sound card and here we're gonna select four card out at this point everything that I just mentioned that we like to achieve is now attainable that's all we have to do hit apply Hit OK, and now we're ready to go. Everything's set up, uh, our audio set up, our MIDI set up. So um, make sure that you look at the quick start guide uh, so that you have a full understanding of, of all the functionalities of the unit. And uh, visit StantonDJ.com for any updates and new releases. And that's it. You guys have a good time. Enjoy, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.